Hello, hello, it's Tara, the Mud Creek Stitcher. Um, I just did a, uh, sorry, I'm just in my light. Nope, glare, annoying. Uh, hi, I'm Tara, the Mud Creek Stitcher. I live in central Nebraska. Hello, and welcome back if you are a subscriber, and if you're not and unfortunately stumbled onto me, I'm so sorry. Um, because I'm a slow stitcher and I don't have a lot to show all the time, but I, I try. So uh, anyways, yeah, I just did a Bible study that will be coming out at midnight tonight, hopefully. And so I thought I'm doing back to back. Well, the Bible study's done and I'll do a floss tube. Because it's been three weeks since my last floss tube. Life's just busy, as we all understand and get. Uh, so anyways, just trying to think life updates Nothing major yet. My daughter is due next week. Um, baby Baker, that's going to be the baby's name. He's due next week, so we're all we're all a little on edge. I'm trying not to be annoying to my daughter because she's, of course, miserable and very puffy and ready to be done and ready to hold her baby too. But we all keep asking every day, have you felt anything yet? What do you think? What do you think? And she has had some contractions at one moment. One moment she thought maybe this is it. And then it went away. So, but that's a great sign because I remember going through that with uh, my own kids. So, we're very excited for that. And as far as wedding preparations, my son is getting married in May. They got engaged last month. Yes, a short engagement, but that's how they want to do it. And more power to them because I think it cuts expenses actually. And so, anyways, since I am the mother of the groom, um, not a lot of decisions I have to make, not like my daughter's. So uh, I do want to help though. I've offered to help and I'll just keep asking, what can I do? How can we help? But they really have, they've already got so much figured out already. So I'm kind of like free falling. So I'm kind of enjoying it. So anyways, um, we are at that point in the year that my second graders now call me mom almost every day. And then, I mean, they don't even laugh about, it. you know, they used to giggle about it at the beginning of the year if they'd accidentally call me mom. But now they're just like, mom, I'm like, yes, honey. <sighs> so we're at that point now where they feel like I'm their mom or their grandma and they're getting a little too comfortable with me and a little bit of their naughtiness is coming out more and more and more. And so it's kind of wearing and tearing on me. I have a great class. By no means do I have a bad class. I have great kids. I just have a lot of boys. It's a lot of work. Boys are work. They just are. No offense, boys. But you're a lot of work. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, it was Dr. Seuss week this week. We celebrated. And it was a lot of fun. We had community members come in and read Dr. Seuss books. And, um, and then on Friday was the big culmination. Because today is Dr. Seuss's birthday. But we, of course, aren't in school today. Only on Friday. Well, no, I, I wish only on Friday. <laughs> Um, but on Friday we celebrated yesterday we did fun stations and coloring in our big gym and um, bless the sixth grade teacher's heart she convinced a high schooler to put on a cat in the hat suit I mean full head head to toe coverage and she did it and it was funny because our superintendent had just finished reading the cat in the hat to the whole elementary preschool to sixth grade and then suddenly behind them here comes the cat in the hat and oh my gosh the littles they were all like oh, oh you know they think they think it's real and it was just it was just so cute like we were able to protect that high school girl from being mauled um but she got a lot of hugs i'm just gonna leave it at that so uh that's been fun my husband he likes to watch a video to hear about himself so my husband has started calving and um they've had two sets of twins already and he's had to pull a couple calves, which he does not like to do. But for the most part, everything is being is going fairly well. And so, anyways, and he's done his own fun shopping. Um, he did bull shopping. That's right, bull, not bull, bull shopping. Uh, this is a lot of fun for ranchers and farmers. They don't usually like the wives to go, I'm noticing, um, because they'll probably be like, well, I'll, I'll see how much he spends. And then I'll be like, well, can I spend that much on cross-stitch and fabric for quilting? So, so anyways, um, 
yeah, so things are going pretty good. Very warm, mild weather, very unusual weather. Um, last few years, we've had lots of snow and stuff, so this is a little bit different. It's probably been about four or five years since we've had a spring like this, and that time, I mean, we had 90 degree days in March, which we could, I don't know, and pretty much, I should have been watering my grass, my yard, but I wasn't, because I'm like, I'm not going to water it, because I have hoses, I have to drag everything out, and actually, I ended up having a lot of grass that died, so this time, I'm going to be a little more vigilant. If we don't get moisture here in the next week, I'm probably going to start dragging out the hoses. On the other side of things, my chickens are massively producing eggs now. Um, there's like a production line. They are laying anywhere from six to eight eggs a day. Yeah, and we are st we're starting to ask people, do you want eggs? Do you want eggs? We'll give them to you. We'll give them to you. So, much, so far, my daughter's the only one who wants them, but um, everybody else is like, well, yeah, eventually we'll take eggs. Uh, <laughs> so... I will just keep asking, do you want eggs? Do you want eggs? Please, take the eggs. So anyways, the girls are doing good. I am sad to say, though, that my dog, when I say girls, I mean the chickens. I'm sad to say, though, my dog last week hopped on one and attacked her. I was not aware of this because I do believe I was in the house cross-stitching and watching floss table. So when I went out to go check for eggs and give them their little corn treats and stuff, I saw one of the chickens with missing feathers on her back and I looked at my dog and she's like, hmm, and she slinked away and I'm like, Rosie, did you do that? And she just hauled it to the house. So, mm -hmm. so we are going to be a little more careful about the dog and the chickens. So every time she goes near a chicken, I'm like, no, no, she's picking up on it. I hope. I'll let you know, though. If I end up with a dead chicken, though, she's in big trouble. So anyways, I love my ladies. What can I say? All right, moving on. That was seven minutes of me, and I'm, I'm sorry. So let's talk about stitching. It's been slow. It's been difficult. It's not really happened as much as I would have liked it to, just because of life in general. So anyways, let's start with um, the whips. I'm trying to whip and work on works in progress my Sunday stitch um, I barely touched it last Sunday it is Leela Studio the Lord's Prayer um, it's this pattern right here Lala D Laura Lala D is also doing this but she is doing her own colors and they're already super pretty I'm just like oh I wish I would have known that because I probably would have asked her for her colors and changed, but it's still pretty. I still really like it. So it just, if you've never watched Lala D Stitcher, I'll try and remember to link it in the box below. She's just got some really good color changes on stuff. She's just got an eye for it. Okay, so where am I at on that? Well, everything's in a cue snap. I'm sorry if I annoy you. But I'm just like, if I were going to get this floss tube done, everything's going to stay in a cue snap. So here we go. So what I worked on was just more of the words and battling out the leaves on the border. So I finished the flowers up here, I think the last time I talked to you. And I worked on finishing up the leaves and I got off and had to rip out. And I think I'm still off, but I'm like, I don't care now. And then I've started more of the words. So it is the Lord's Prayer. And of course, I'm a huge Laura Ingalls Wilder fan. This is my most favorite book of all of them. I read it every year to my second graders, whether they want to or not hear it, they're going to hear it. And I also talked about how I got to go there and visit and see the actual dugout spot. So it was pretty cool. So that's as far as I've gotten on that one. It's going to be beautiful. And it is my Sunday stitch. And so tomorrow, I'm going to make myself stitch on it, because last Sunday I did not, which I'll show you why I did not. So there is that one. I have lots of crowded spaces, so okay, I'm going to put it over here. So um, then why I did not work on it on Sunday is because I was just like, I miss my Queen of Freedom. I hadn't touched her in like nine months 
And I'm just like, I miss her. I want to see her. And I'm sure she misses me. So, oh, I have the pattern. I don't know what I did with it. Just a second. I have it. I have it. I see it before I drop everything. I see it. So here she is coming. There she is. I found her. Here she is. Queen of Freedom. She's an out of print pattern. I have talked about and spending an embarrassing amount of money on this pattern. A lot of you are like, I will never, ever do that. Okay. Stay strong. Stay strong, girlfriend. Stay strong. But I, I did not stay strong. She's beautiful. So these are all the flosses. This is not the Krynik. I have that somewhere else and I need to find it because I need to do it. And the beading, I'm not even close and you'll see why. So I have her on this fabric from Fiber on a Whim. It is the We the People. It's a constitution fabric and a lot of people have seen this done. If, oh, I'm sorry. If you want to see it completely finished, go to Christy at Crosshatch Quilts because she always shows it in the opening of her videos almost every time. And I'm going to show what I've done up to this point. So I have filled in all of this and all of this. This has taken me a whole week just to get that in, working in it on the mornings and at night. And also, my chicken. This is from Miss Bev, a beautiful, lovely lady in Australia. Hi, Bev. She gave me two beautiful needle minders out of the blue. God bless you. Thank you so much. It just totally made my day when she sent an email and said, hey, by the way, I want to send these to you. I'm like, oh my I don't know what to say. It's so humbling. I just don't know what to say. And I just love it. Isn't it so cute? Bark, bark, bark. All right. Sorry. I can't help it. I'm learning to speak chicken. My chickens, they're like, bark, bark. and I do that to them and they respond to me. It's a lot of fun. So anyways, this is her. All of this is beading. And then you see all the lines. That's all beading. I have never beaded before. So she will be my first beading. I planned for her to be the first, but, you know, things change, but I hope so. So that is my queen of freedom. Out of, poor, out of print, out of print, she is. You can find her on online at eBay. It comes up all the time if you're willing to pay an embarrassing amount of money. Or you have a friend that would be willing to share her. Um, I'm not going to share her right now, people. Maybe in a few years, but not right now. So that is, she has probably taken up most of my time, Queen of Freedom. Then I'm slowly, slowly getting a little bit on this pattern at a time. And it is the red letter sampler. Sorry, I just shoved things everywhere. It is Stacy Nash Little Red Work Pen Keep because thanks to that darn Lori Holt who inspires us all. Um, I was going back watching her old videos and saw her working on some red samplers and I'm like, well, I'll do a little one. And I'll try and do the one stitch a day. Yeah. It's car it's more like one, not one stitch a day, one thread a day. <laughs> not one stitch a day, oh boy, you would never get done. Um, one thread a day, it's more like one thread every two to three days. And this is the other needle minder Miss Bev gave me. Thank you so much. It is so cute. But that's as far as I've got. And I am using NIP Floss. Um, and it is Chinese Red Range. And it's very pretty. And I thought this was wheat last time, the fabric. 18 count fiber and limb. It's sand. It's actually sand. So I apologize. So I'd said the wrong thing. But that is pretty much me in a nutshell. I always say the wrong thing which second graders love to tell me I am wrong. They adore that, which I would have too. Okay, and then I put in some time last night on the dreaded grass. Oh, the dreaded grass. On this happy morning, I'm not taking out the Q-snap. If you want to see it, go to my last video I did. I got it um, when it was... I think it was the country sampler had put it out 
and you could order from them. I'm not sure. If somebody wants to tell me if that's right or wrong, let me know. Uh, so anyways, I got it when it was still an exclusive and I got the vintage version, which I'm so glad I did. Because four years ago when I first got back into stitching, I'm like, oh, black is easy. I can handle it. You know what? No, I can't. I cannot handle black. I don't like black. I don't like it. It's very pretty. I love how everyone's stuff looks on it. And I've done a couple things on black. They're behind me right now. There's one. Up. There's both of them. But that's, it's so hard on my eyes. So I don't want to do black. Okay. So the grass continues. So last night I worked on it. Uh, and notice I didn't finish that. This is when I fell asleep last night. We're watching this show on Netflix, The Tourist. Has anybody watched that? It's very, I mean, it, I just was like, okay, this is me stitching along, listening. And then I'm like, for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be stitching grass. I need to get the grass filled in. So that's why I've not gotten very far on it. So slowly, and then I'll get this, and then there'll be like about this much more grass. And hopefully I can get it in. And then I'll have a finish. I want this thing done. I really do. I mean it. Hopefully. Yes. I will get it done. Right? I will. Okay, and then something else I've been working on the last few weeks. Let me add it to my precarious stack. Is, of course, the Feast of Friendship. I'm just looking to see what I have. Feast of Friendship. This was started because of um, my friend, Lori. Hi, Lori. Uh, she and I talked and we're like, what if we did this together and yay. And then I was like, do you mind if I invite everyone? She's like, absolutely. Go ahead and invite everybody. So a lot of you are doing it. Um, a lot of you have already done it. You're like, oh, I've already got it. That's awesome. And some of you have already finished. Some of you are like, eh, I don't really like it. We're all at different stages right now. So this is where I'm at. I'm behind on my assignments a little bit. I was hoping to have down to here all done, but it's as far as I got. That's all right, though. I'm loving the pineapple. I know my thread's in the way, but I'm, I'm digging this pineapple. And here's my orange. And this was so pretty to make. But it once again, it feels a lot like a Mirabilia. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Lots of um, changes, which once again, I enjoy that. I'm kind of dreading when I have to do all the bowl and stuff. But at the same time, then I can watch shows and be like, and do that for a while. So that is Feast of Friendship. Oh, I didn't show the pattern. Sorry. By Blackbirds. Not Blackbirds. Blackbird Design. A lot of you already know it, have it, done it, been there. Some of you probably have done two or three of them. I don't know. But it is pretty. And it's one of those pieces. It's going to hang up year round. I do not care. It will hang up your wrap. So I've been working on that. Let me get it all put back together so I can work on it again. Maybe tonight I can finish my pineapple. I have been watching the show Sanditon. Anybody been watching Sanditon? It was, a lead, supposedly it was Jane Austen's last book she was working on before she passed away. Sorry, I'm going to grab this. I love my cup. Just add coffee. Instant human. But anyways, um, supposedly it was her last book. It never got finished. And so I'm not sure who bought the rights to the book or whatever, but they turned into a PBS, you know, Masterpiece Theater. And there's three seasons. And I watched, I only got to see like the ending of season one when I realized it was on PBS. And then I saw season two, but totally missed season three. So then on Prime Video... They'd had it free, I thought. It ends up, I think I only was on the free uh, seven-day trial. I didn't realize it. So I had been stitching and watching Sanditon. I really have enjoyed it. Another, um, if you like kind of that Jane Austen vibe kind of show, if you love Downton Abbey, uh, Belgravia, it's on Prime Video. That is really good, too. That was, that was an excellent show. Um trying to think how many episodes there were five or six could have even been eight great ending great beginning I love all that if you love all that kind of stuff yeah 
you will love Belgravia. Belgravia. You'll love it. Okay, and then <clears throat> the final thing, more like disaster piece, is my leap day start. <sighs> Number one. I forgot all about, I said I was going to do a leap day start. Sorry, Becky, because this was all Becky's idea. Hi, Becky. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, sure, I'll join you. And we were like texting, all excited. And then, oh, my job, my job is ruining my hobby. So anyways, um, so I forgot all about it and saw on Facebook, Becky had said, are you ready? And I'm like, sure. Or no, I didn't say that. I said, I forgot, which I, I was. I was at school and I'm like, ah, I forgot. So I hustled home, well, as fast as I could. And of course, I had to cook supper and blah, blah, blah. Okay. And so I'm like, okay, I already know what I'm going to do. Dirty teacup. I have that laying out. Perfect. I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit here before supper. I'm going to wind my flosses. Well, actually, I ended up having to wind them after supper. So I got my flosses in. And I put them in this little keeper. I don't really like the keeper because the little parts are falling out. It's not the highest quality. Let's just say it's kind of cheap, but oh well. So I have them all in here. I'm like, okay, done. I just need to grab my pattern. Do you think I could find my pattern? Nope. Do you think I could find it before this floss tube? No. I have no idea where my pattern is. But thankfully, I had went ahead and went online and ordered the PDF download. So I was able to download and at least start it on leap day. So I can say, I did start it, but I didn't get a lot done. And this is all I got done so far, is a little bit of the border, that's it. At leap day, I got to here. And then the next night, I got to down here and then I fell asleep. So that's as far as I got. That is my leap day start. Look at all this material. Look at all of this. Some of it can be cut down, but for the most part, it's going to be a big piece. Pretty much 30 by 30. It's going to be big. 30 inch by 30 inch. So if I had a pattern to show you, I would. Uh, the picture. So I'll probably insert the picture in at the end, just so if you don't know what His Eye on the Sparrow is, it is by Heartstring Samplery, designed by Beth Twist, and it's a huge piece. It's a BAP, not the naughty word one. It's the big awesome project, not the naughty words. This is rated G. Right, people? Right. Okay, so... And then, oh yeah, and then the other problem was my colors were wrong. Whatever I ordered for DMC is not the right colors. So I'm like, oh well, I'm just going to do the colors as I want to do them and see what happens. So that's what's going to happen. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Will I get this done for the next leap year? No, probably not. Probably not. There's no way. I don't know. I could try to do assignments, but no. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel different in the summertime when I'm like well rested. I find in the summertime it takes me like two weeks, two weeks of just kind of pitter pattering around the house, sleeping in, kind of doing those odd things that I haven't done all year. And and then suddenly I'm kind of like, hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. And then suddenly I have like more energy and become a whole new person. So We'll see. All right, so I just wanted to share a little bit of what I want to stitch on. On top of all that, I know. I have talked about this. I definitely want to do this for my uh, husband's and myself anniversary in May. We'll be in May, God be willing, 30 years. Um, I had this pattern long ago, and of course I told you I gave it all away. A co-worker gave it to me, so I hope to do it. It's a Paula Vaughn. I, I don't know. I'm debating about whether doing the wallpaper or give it a little bit more modern vibe. I'm not super modern, but you know what I mean? I don't know. Lots to think about how I'm going to do this. So I want to start that, and that'll be in May. And then I want to continue stitching on Velcro. This one. 
because I have my chickens and I want to I want to hang it up to honor my ladies because this pretty much looks a lot like what my chickens look like. So it's Stacy Nash. It's the ch chickens spring chickens pin keep. And I assumed it was small. It is not small and I've already shown this. I showed this the last couple videos. I know I have in my whip parade, pattern parade, something parade, parade along. So I really want to get back to it. I would like to get this done. It's so stinking pretty. So I'm going to keep this out and I hope to add some more stitches to it in the coming weeks and build on it and keep it going. And then the other one I just found when I was trying to find my eye on the sparrow pattern. You know, it's going to, that pattern is going to show up when I least expect it. You know, it's going to, it's going to be like, why are you in my underwear drawer? How did this happen? You know, that's what's going to happen. But I want to continue on after the roses. I saw somebody else. I don't remember what floss tuber. I've watched so many people through the months. But she had shown hers, and she had way more progress than I did. So I was just like, ugh, I've got to pull it out and work on it. And this is all I have so far. So I want to get a little more done. And keep adding to the lovely roses, after the roses. Okay, so... And then something else I'm going to start. I know, I, I know, I'm starting all kinds of things. I know, I know, Mom. Don't yell at me, Mom. Uh, another thing I want to start is this. I've ordered the fabric and the floss from Bestitch Me. I'm still waiting on for it to come. So it said it'd be like three or four weeks, so that's fine. Obviously, I have things to do. But it is this one, Modern Folk Embroidery, <sighs> Real Comfort, Jane Austen. I told you I'm a Jane Austen fan. So many of us are. And Bridgen, the Museum Stitcher, and Megan, the Seattle Stitcher, they both have done this pink on pink. And it is so pretty. Bridgen, I watch, I love to watch her. She's got so many good pieces. She got hers done. It is absolutely beautiful. So I'm like, yep, I'm going to do this. And I love doing words. I just love doing words and numbers. And and when it gets done, I'm like, where will I hang it? You know what? I'm going to hang it in here because it goes with pink. Pink. I'm a girl. I like pink. Yeah. So I hope, I not hope, I plan, I plan to start that as well. Okay. And then... I haven't gotten anything in, haven't really been ordering anything because I'm watching all the Nashville needle market stuff and I'm like, ah, it's very hard. But boy, um, Stacy Nash, she has some beautiful stuff. Teresa Kogut has beautiful things and the list just goes on and on. Plum Street Samplers, uh, Kitten Stitcher, and on and on and on. Just the ones that I've seen that I'm like, ooh. So anyways, I'm not buying any of that yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until it gets into stores and stuff. So because there's so many other things I want to buy besides that. And, you know, st patterns that I've not um, appreciated. And now I'm like, why didn't I want that? You know, so anyways, I'm watching it. They're all there right now. It looks like they're all having a total blast. Looks like the best women's retreat ever although I'm sure it's kind of expensive but anyways but I did get in the mail I am in the Bestitch Me fabric club for 18 count and it's the whatever the fabric of the month is and I got this color this is Ada 18 count we can't elope there it is that's right it's orange it's not showing as bright as it actually is, but it is. It is bright orange. I don't know if I can get it to look orangey, as orange as it there. But it's even brighter than that. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but you know what? It's building stash, and that day will come, as we all know. That will be like, that's what I'm going to use it for. So that's what I got for stash. For to build my stash. All right, this next part is Grandma Tara part. Um, 
Well, no, there's one. Well, okay. Yeah, I have purchased things. But these have nothing to do with stitching. This is, well, except for one thing. Um, has to do with grandkids and all that. So if you're not interested in any of that, thank you for stopping by. And have a wonderful week. But I'm going to go ahead and show some things I got for my grandkids. All right. And one more thing here. I ordered some pots to replant some of my plants because some of my pots were disgusting. They are like 10, 12 years old. And it's time to replant uh, my indoor plants. I got one of these cute little pots. It was like in a stack and it's so tiny. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it my art collector. So I thought that was super cute to have as an art collector rather than a jar. I've been using a jar. Something else random that I got and I'm just like, I just have to share with the world because I watched another YouTube channel and she, her name's Christy Davis. She's all about, um, keto diet and health and all that stuff, which is good for me to watch. Doesn't mean I'm actually following it. But anyways, she shared this. It's called Nooni Appleberry Lip Oil. And I tell you what, you guys, it's so much better than chapstick. It's unbelievable. And this actually tints, you can, I'm looking at my teeth right now. It tints your lips. It doesn't do it right away. It takes a couple seconds, but it tints your lips and the oil actually feels a lot better on my lips than chapstick because I'm using chapstick all day long. So anyways, I like it. I'm going to uh, order more. Yes, it's not cheap like chapstick, but I tell you what, my lips feel a lot better. So I just want to share that. All right. So my grandson's coming soon and I ordered a couple things for him. One of, and they're both from Etsy. And I, I haven't even opened this yet, but I got this cute little dumbbell because his dad's a big weightlifter. It's a rattle. Is that not adorable? So I got that to give to little baby Baker. And then I ordered this little robe and I haven't even looked at it yet. So I'm going to live tearing it open in front of you all. Oh, she wrapped it in tissue paper. So cute. Let me pull it out. From my little grandbaby. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a cute little elephant stuffy. And then this, I just was like, I can't stand it. It's a little elephant robe with his name on. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, look at that. It's got a little robe tie. Oh my gosh. So, I have a feeling my granddaughter will be wearing it. Not my grandson, but... Hopefully someday he'll be able to wear it. Oh, that's so cute and it's so soft. So a cute little robe for my little grandson. So I'm excited. Obviously you can tell. And then I just had to share this other little thing. I got my granddaughter for when her brother is born. It's this cute little tea set. I got it on Amazon. I have a real tea set for her that we got at... Uh, one of the Laura Engel, Engels museums we went to in South Dakota, but it's all glass. And I tried to play with it with her, but she threw the cup and I was like, ah. so we'll wait till she's older. But this is all made out of metal. Isn't that cute? It's a little tray, a little holder, and everything is all wrapped. Cute little plates, cute little saucers. Aren't those adorable to play with? And then there's cute little... Uh, food and donuts in here and just cute little snacks she loves to play in her kitchen. Look at that little teapot. Oh, we're going to have to put water in that and play with that. So, anyways, I know it has nothing to do with stitching, but, you know, you may have a grandson or a granddaughter. Woo, that is the sunlight shining on me. That you may want to spoil. So, Amazon and Etsy. Great ways to spoil kids. Okay, that is pretty much it. You know, most of my life, whoa, this is like creepy. It's making me look evil. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for coming back and watching. And hopefully I can stitch a little more and make a little more progress. And um, I just appreciate 
everything. So uh, no Bible part today. Just head over to my um, Bible study, Women of the Word, and that's where I read some of James and we talk about how to study the Bible. So anyways, all right. Thank you guys for hanging out and I'm looking where to turn off the button. I found it. Um, thank you for, for stopping by and I just appreciate you all and your kindness. Everyone says it. It is so true. Just everyone is so kind to each other from stitchers to floss tubers to designers to people who want to design, to people who are just getting into stitching. Um, it's just a great community because we all love it so much and we want everyone to have that love that we do. So anyways, thank you again. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was striping my face. The sun decided to show up. All right, thanks you guys. God bless.